Hi, I'm Todd Heitkamp of the National Weather Service, and we're going to have a little fun with the cold today. We're going to do a few weather experiments to show you how really cold it is outside. And remember, it isn't that cold, only about seven below zero outside, but we're going to have some fun. We're going to actually see how quick a wet t-shirt will freeze, also two bananas, and then also throw a little water up in the air to see if it crystallizes. So hope you enjoy it. Hope you stay safe in the cold today. We're going to do the first the, the wet t-shirt, and so we're going to have this t-shirt here, and I'm going to soak it, and we're going to put it outside on a, on a hanger, and uh, we'll time it, see how long it takes to actually freeze outside. Okay, we're going to take the shirt outside now. We'll start the uh, stopwatch and see how long it takes. So here we go. Got the shirt out there hanging. We'll see how long it takes. Okay, we're going to go out and take a look at the, the shirt here three minutes into it and look what happened it is now stiff as a board completely and utterly froze within three minutes The next experiment involves two bananas. What we're going to do is we're going to peel one and leave the other one with the peeling on to show you how quickly a banana will freeze in the cold and also to, to demonstrate how it's important to have a little layer of warmth around you to protect you from the extreme cold that we're experiencing today. Okay, we're 20 minutes into the uh, frozen banana experiment and uh, what I'm trying to prove here is that the, the peeling will provide a little bit more insulation to that banana than one without and so one will freeze quicker than the other, i.e. you without a coat and you with the coat. So you can see 20 minutes into it, the uh, one without the insulation of the peeling is completely froze and actually if you pound it hard enough like I did, it just broke. And then one with the peeling, the peeling is froze but the banana inside is not as I can feel how soft it is and we'll take it inside and take the peeling off or take the coat off and see how warm or at least less frozen than the other one is. Okay, we brought the banana inside and we opened it up and uh, sure enough you can see the banana is nice and soft and so the peeling provided the insulation just like a coat would uh, during this extreme cold so that's why it's important to to make sure all exposed flesh is covered up by either gloves coat mittens hat you name it but protect yourself from the cold and just like this peeling did for the banana well i hope you enjoyed the experiments that we did but the whole purpose of this was to show you how dangerous the cold actually is out there and hopefully you take it seriously that you listen to the forecast you dress properly and you'll be safe if you have more questions about any of these experiments or protecting yourself from the cold, contact us here at the National Weather Service at 605-330-4247. Thanks much.